Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In this video we're going to begin the chapter of linear relations and looking at uh, just simple uh, relationships between two variables that makes a straight line. Just recapping um, that we have a Cartesian plane here. This is your y-axis, the vertical line, and the horizontal is your x-axis. Okay. So, the point in the middle where both the y and x axis meets is the origin. And you have your positive going to the right, negative numbers going to the left on your x axis, positive going up on your y axis, negative numbers going down on your, x, uh, on your y axis. Um, the other thing that you need to remember is your coordinates are represented with the value of x first and then the value of y second. Okay, simple way to remember alphabetical order will do the trick. Okay, now other references in terms of quadrants you'll notice that having these two axes makes four quadrants. Uh, it sometimes it's a little bit confusing on which one is one, two, three, and four. Start off with your top right corner where both axes are positive. So quadrant one, and then go anti-clockwise. Quadrant two, quadrant three, and then quadrant four down the bottom right. Okay, so a y-intercept, now I'm going to have my shorthand, this is my just shorthand for y-intercept, okay, don't get confused, it's just a little shorthand symbol. That is any point that cuts across the y-axis, okay. The x-intercept, and this is going to be my shorthand for x-intercept, x i over c. Okay, that's going to be the point at which a line crosses the x-axis um, at any any stage there. Okay, now referring to the right-hand side here, we're going to show you some really simple ways of interpreting tables uh, and jotting the points. You'll see here is a table, or the first example of a table, x values of negative 3 to 3 and then the range of y values from minus 1 and increasing to 5. So simply find the value of x which is negative 3 over here for the first set negative 3 is over there and then y at the same time when x is in minus 3 is negative 1 so here, so there's y for negative 1, x for minus 3, our point is right there where I've marked the x. Next one, minus 2 for x and then 0 for y, so minus 2 for x and then 0 for y which is here. We have then minus 1 and 1, so minus 1 and 1, 0 and 2. 0 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, and then 3 and then 5, 3 and then 5. Then what you can do is always use a ruler and you can jot, connect the dots. Okay. Anything to do with linear relations is going to be a straight line in this chapter. Uh, I recommend that you always use a ruler for accuracy uh, purposes. Notice that I haven't been so accurate here. Um, so it just shows you that you need to have a good ruler that does the trick. Okay, so simple as uh, adding your coordinates onto the table is that now one thing that I want to alert you to is that notice this point here cuts across the y-axis. So this is your 
y axis and here is your x axis any point that crosses the y axis is your y intercept and the value of x at any point across the y axis is 0 so when x is 0 y is 2 I'm going to label this as my y intercept here okay uh, I'll mark it with a green okay and notice over here in when I circle in the black when it crosses the x-axis that the value for y is also 0 so notice in the table y is 0 x is minus 2 here is your x-intercept okay the point at which the line crosses the x-axis is your x-intercept the point that crosses the y-axis is your y-intercept so if we had a look at this second table we can immediately look at these two distinctive features and plot them on the graph here we have our y-intercept when x is 0 so if you find on the table where x is 0 that is going to be your y-intercept okay if you then find where y equals 0 then that is going to be the value of your x-intercept so let's this is graph A which is that one and this is going to be graph B. So the y intercept is when it hits 2, which is over here. Okay. And the x intercept is at 1, which is over here. Alright, notice that the values of y are decreasing, and I've marked two points two intercepts, I can confidently join those two dots together. That's going to be my line for table B. Okay, it is going down, it's got a negative gradient or a negative slope, um, and that's as simple as it is. Okay, uh, that's just a recap. Hopefully that made sense. We're going to move on to um, a few other things in the next video. See you guys.